Let me piggyback off of, off of Razzy. <clears throat> I want to talk about integration. People think that integration is black people moving into white neighborhoods and getting white jobs or, or whatever, uh, 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 marrying white people and all this kind of stuff. And they get on Dr. King's case about integration. What does integration mean? When you get a black cup of coffee and you pour milk into the coffee, you integrate the coffee, right? Am I am I am I right? Is that's that's integration? Well, actually, it's osmosis. Scientifically, it's osmosis, but we're gonna that's integration. The fact that we live here, we're integrated. Now, just because there's a black community a segregated community and it's, it's black and the white folks is on the on the on the other side of the tracks as long as we are here we are integrated so dr king did not start integration we was integrated on the slave plantation we was all together You understand where I'm coming from? So don't blame Dr. King for integration or don't say, well, because of integration, we always was integrated. We was forced to live in our own communities, which most people would do that anyway. It's, that's just natural. When you go to a school, most black children will get with, with black children most Chinese children would get with, I mean, that's just a natural thing. People want to be with people who are like themselves. But the school is integrated because you have black children, Asian children, white children, Indian children, whatever. The school is integrated. It's diverse. We live in America. And you can build, you can have an all black state. You still integrated because you're still part of the United States of America. If you don't want to be integrated, then you then you need to go to Africa or China or wherever. And then all thing you're going to do is integrate with somebody else because you don't control nothing. You don't have a damn thing. You always going to be integrating with somebody because you have nothing of your own. When it gets to the point where you can control the land, the resources, you make the rules or whatever. And then even when you have your own, doesn't mean that, I mean, you could, but it still don't mean that you would, that uh, you won't be integrated because you may allow people from the islands to come to your, your new country. You might even let a, start letting a few white people come in. If they was cool with us, you might let them come in we just, humanity is just diverse. 
humanity is just diverse, y'all. So integration is not the problem. The problem is injustice. It wasn't integration. It's just injustice. And the way they played the integration, it gave us the illusion like you was getting justice because you was able to sit and eat at a, a counter or you was able to marry a white woman. It gave us the illusion. But we're integrated. You can't hide from that. You can't hide from integration. Now, I think segregation would be better. You still integrate because you're in this country. But segregation was much, much better because it gave us an opportunity to do for ourselves because there is no justice. It's unequal in the society itself. But we're still integrated because we still have to obey the laws of the United States of America. Even if you segregated, you still are under the authority of those who have the power to enforce the laws of the United States of America. Now, I might be off. When I say that, I might be off. I'm here to learn things too. Razzy, I might be off, Razzy. If I'm off track, please, please tell me. Because I, I might be, I might be wrong. That's the way I, I look at it. You can't, you can't, you can't avoid integration. There was something else that, that uh Razzy said that I want to piggyback on. Let me see if I oh yeah. Razzy was talking about the New World Order. I just want to say this about the New World Order. The only problem with the New World Order is if it's corrupt because we need a New World Order. We need humanity to be different. We need humanity transform and begin a metamorphosis outside of this, this place where we find ourselves right now. The problem with the new world order is that the new world order that we're thinking about is corrupt. That's the problem. But we need a new world order because clearly this, what we are in right now, is toe up from the flow up. And it has nothing to do with race. People are suffering. People are suffering injustice. People are starving. People are being brutalized all over the earth. So the new world order that I believe Raz is talking about, the only thing they want to do is continue the same old, same old, and they want to run everything. They want to be able to say who lives, who dies, who eats, who starves, and that kind of world order all of us should not want, and all of us should fight against, and we should not allow that to come into existence because the few, the few that actually come up or the ones that bring forth this new world order, they themselves don't have the power to maintain it. They need to have some flunkies in order for them to do what they need to do. They can't do it. But that's what, that's what happens. You always have these powers and they give to a certain group to be their flunkies so they can, so that group can do the actual murder or the oppression of the other group and they fight among themselves and the ones who actually are the troublemakers sit back and watch the, the hell going on. That's what we're doing right now. The people that actually put all this ball in motion and those who are benefiting from all this, we don't really know who they are, their names or nothing like that. They just sit back in the cut and just watch and they benefit from it all. And they pass 
their wealth and their power from generation to generation. And we're too, we're too caught up in racism and trying to get rich and famous and other foolishness that we can't see the real deal. But I tell you this, they're not as powerful as we think they are. The reason why they have the power that they do is because of our, of our behaviors and our mindset and what we think life is. If all of us was living like the Amish people, they wouldn't have that kind of power like that. When you change your mind on what, what you think success and life is, take away their power. So we do need a new world order. But if it's going to continue to be corrupt, abusive, and exploitive, we don't want that. And we should fight like hell. And the reality is it affects all people on this planet. Not just melanated people. It affects all of us. And Razzie had made another good point also. He, he was talking about one of the best things that China and North Korea could have done was arm themselves and isolate themselves from other folks. That's very wise. And depend on yourself. If we took control of Mississippi, I would suggest if we can't produce it, we don't need it. Because we don't need, you don't want to put yourself in a position to depend on outside outsiders for, for your, your needs. Even though the United States sanctioned Russia, look what all of it has done to this country. Your gas prices all of a sudden went up. Food prices is up. All kinds of stuff is happening to you because Russia is part Russia is part of the of the global economy. Russia is part of the global economy. Do you know, I'm going to say this and we're going to close. <clears throat> Do you know at one time in America there was towns and small cities they were self-sufficient. They produce everything they needed. When it gets to the point where you have to start getting things from other places or whatever, then you become in, uh, dependent upon other places. You put your, you you start to weaken yourself. I don't think that there's not one town or city in America right now that's self-sufficient. Now you have to get things from somewhere. You got to get something from Pennsylvania. You got to get something from California. See, the way the Mississippi campaign would work is if we don't produce it, we don't need it. Thank you.